afternoon class. All right, we're going to use a simple example over here to run through quickly the steps of the skill on how you do linear programming. All right, if you have not get this handout, then uh, please, by all means, uh, come to me in the class and you ask for it. Okay, just say that you want the handout for that YouTube video class, linear programming. Alright, so it says over here that APD produces product C and A and we actually been given the details for CA. So they tell us material L, skill labor, machine hours, contribution per unit. And you've been informed that C has a maximum demand of 900. L is restricted to 3000 kilos. Skill labor is 1002. Machine hours will be 4000. Alright, so what we're going to have here, see the workings for us to start your linear programming is you're going to start defining your variable. So let's just define our variable where let C be product C and let A be product A. And let's just define our constraints. I believe you remember what we explained as constraint in the class and we have constraint in material y where 2c plus 2.5a does not exceed oops I'm sorry um, material y is restricted to 3000 does not exceed 3,000. All right, now for skilled labor, 1.2C plus 0.5A does not exceed 1,002. Machine, 4C plus 3.2A does not exceed 4,000. And you've been told demand that C does not exceed 900. All right, so basically what we're going to do is to draw these lines onto the graph. So to do that, I'll need a simple working where if C equals 0, what's A? And if A equals 0, what's C? All right, so let's calculate that if c equals to 0, I'm sure you know what to do, right? So you just do the calculation. So a would be 1,000, One two five zero one thousand. All right, so this is all the values that we have in. So we're gonna have the uh, highest of two four and highest of one five. All right, so let's put up the scale. Okay, so if again you're not sure how to get the value, forgotten, please you ask me again in the class. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna put up the scale to draw your x, y. So let's put product C as x, A as y. I'm gonna use four centimeters for every thousand. Again, I don't have the graph paper here, so I'm just using a blank paper for illustration. One, two, three thousand. One, two, three thousand. Right, that's my scale. Right, and you're gonna have product C 
and product A on both the axes. All right, so let's draw the first line. Now the first line for material L is you're gonna have a at 1002, C at 1005. So 1005 would be here, and 1002 will be 0 0.8 centimeters. Right, that's 1002. 1005. Okay, right, that's your line for. Material L, where 2C plus 2.5A does not exceed 3000. Right, then we have 2004. 2004 would be 1.6 centimeters. Then 1000, right, that's 2.4 is 1000. Alright, uh, that's my line. So what is this? This is my skill labor. 1.2C plus 0.5A does not exceed 1002. All right, now for machines, you're gonna have 1250. 1250, that's one centimeters. Right, that's 1250. To a thousand, right? That's one, two, five, zero. And that's your machine. Four C plus three point two A does not exceed four thousand. Right, the last is you're gonna draw your demand for C and C will be 900 so it's about 3.6 cm 3.6 right we're gonna have it here so that's the line okay and demand that c does not have does not exceed 900 okay class so you've got all the lines drawn in so again so based on this example where would your visible region be Right, that's your feasible region. So that's my feasible region. And your optimal point can be any of this. This point, this point, this point, which of course this point. So A, B, C, or D. Right, so they actually want us to solve the problem as in to find what's the optimum solution so you should know that the objective that we're having here is to maximize contribution so that's our objective so what is contribution so contribution is actually 10c plus 15a so you're going to draw a line that will represent your contribution function and remember what we say in the class so the shortcut is you're going to inverse the value so anything goes to C goes to A A goes to C so you're going to draw 1510 or you're going to draw 150100 so that's basically what you can do you can use 1.5 cm to 1 cm so you can just use any uh, approach as long as the proportion is 15 to 10. Alright, so if I'm going to use 1.5 cm and 1 cm. Alright, so that's my contribution function. So please and use your ruler push it to the last point and which has to be the last point that we're going to touch here so we're going to cut off CD and go further oh so this is quite close so I believe if you go further up you're going to hit on B 
So leaving A as your optimum solution. So which means your optimum point is point A. And how many units you're going to make at point A? Right, basically point A is the point that shows two C plus two point five A equals to three thousand. That's the line. And C equals to zero. So this is what you've got to solve. Alright, so quite simple. If C equals to zero, so you're gonna have no C, so A is going to be 3000 divided by 2.5. Right, so that's your optimum solution. You're gonna produce zero unit of C, 1200 unit of A. Right, that's your optimum solution. Alright class, so based on this, the maximum contribution that you're going to get is going to be 1002 times 15. And that's what you get in, 18,000. Okay, so I hope that this example again illustrate to you the very basic steps on how you do linear programming. So again, so we serve this as a flashback of what we learned in the class. So if you do have anything not clear, or you've forgotten your skills or your steps, please come to me and ask, and I will show you in the class itself. Alright? Okay class, thank you very much. Thanks for revising.